Hello, Daz Studio Enthusiasts! This is Not From This World, and I want to welcome you to my tutorial series. Now, before we begin, I want to apologize for not posting anything last week. I had to make a trip across the country, and I didn't have any time to get videos posted for last week. But I'm back now, and for today's video... I thought I would do a Tuesday challenge talking a little bit about a problem that I've mentioned before when you are trying to pose a character and they just don't move. And I've had this problem in the past where you set up a scene and you set up a character and you're trying to pose the character and move them around the scene and it's agonizing to move. And really, what it comes down to is the hair. Some hair, I guess, has so many polygons that when you load the hair onto your character, it just drags Daz Studio down. And the interesting thing that I've noticed about this is it doesn't matter if you have the best GPU or if you have an average GPU, even the best GPUs, we have this issue. Now, for this um, hair that I have Milica with is a ponytail hair, and you can see that if I select her, we're just going to move her around, I can move her around just fine. And um, this hair, I guess, is, is uh, never an issue, but when you select various hairstyles, and that hair has a lot of polygons with it, it will cause your character to not move. So what you have to do is you have to delete the hair. Just taking your character's hair and trying to hide it, you know, like if we take this hair and we just hide it, it doesn't help because it's still in the scene. Now, this is a big problem. So what I do when I encounter this is I will set up the scene, get everything the way that I want it. I just won't include hair. I will add the hair after everything else is set up. And that way you can move your character and other things around a lot easier. And then the very last thing you do is add the hair. And I have so much hair. If you look here under my Genesis 8 female characters, I have all of this hair. So I have long hair, braided hair, ponytails, short hair, bun hair, mid links, crazy styles, afro styles. Um, I have a lot of different hair. This hair that Milica has today is under the braided hair. And it's this uh, city braid hair. But... It's polygons must be low enough that I don't usually have this problem. But the key when you do this is if your character's not moving, make sure you write down what hair. And especially if you're making multiple scenes, write down which style and color you used. So make sure like if I am using this color, I'm going to say it's color six. And so then if I have to repose and then make a new picture, I can delete the hair, put it back on, and then get it exactly the way that it was on the previous pictures. That is really the only drawback to this. I have done a few other things that can help if your characters aren't moving. Grouping the characters. So if I have multiple characters, I can create a group and group those characters if I need to. I can hide them. That sometimes helps. If I hide an entire group, then other things move. Things like hiding some things in your scenes if they eat up a lot of polygons. All of the polygons are going to eat up memory. And that's really what slows down Daz Studio and makes it hard to pose. So I just thought uh, as I got back kind of into the swing of things, getting back from South Carolina that I would address this issue because it is an ongoing issue and I wish Daz could figure this out and fix it. But if you're having trouble moving your character, 
this is the only solution I know of. If you have some other solutions, please let me know. That's why this is a challenge video today. So your challenge is to let me know what you do if you have the infamous frozen character. What do you do? And let's address this again, give some of our new viewers tips on how we can fix this most aggravating problem. All right, until Friday, I hope you have a wonderful week. Happy rendering, be safe out there, and enjoy these renders of Milica.